Just in the past few hours, NASA told us it has some work to do before it can get the Artemis 1 moon rocket off the ground on Wednesday. NASA says it's trying to fix an electrical connection and a strip of caulk that has come loose after the storm on its $4 billion moon rocket. News 6's Brian Didlake is digging deeper into the problems that could affect Wednesday's launch attempt. Well, I have great news to give everyone. The weather looks really good for launch. Conditions are favorable, according to the weather team with NASA. A teleconference held Sunday as officials with the space agency discussed their preparations ahead of Wednesday's launch of the SLS rocket Artemis. These past few days, our team has been uh, working hard to finish up the inspections that uh, followed Hurricane Nicole. Hurricane Nicole did cause delays, making this week the third time NASA has attempted to launch Artemis into space. If Wednesday's launch is successful, the unmanned spacecraft is set to circle the moon, come back, and will make it one step closer for the space agency to put astronauts on the moon and possibly to Mars. We anticipate learning a great deal as we take the spacecraft as the first spacecraft designed for humans farther from Earth than any of our previous human-rated spacecrafts have been. There are some known issues. Officials did note a minor tear on one of the rocket engine's rain covers that they should have no problem repairing. Two items also being looked at is the electrical connection on the hydrogen tail service mast, as well as the RTV, which is like a caulk that fills in gaps. Both items damaged by the storm. We're working through this methodically. Um, we understand what the, uh, the risk baseline is for this for this uncrewed test flight. Officials say despite the few known problems, they are confident this time Artemis will launch into space. All the uh, mission management team members pulled go, uh, headed into the November 16th launch attempt. In Orlando, Brian Ditlake getting results. News 6. Well, teams at the pad are looking at replacing that electrical connector that is malfunctioning, and mission managers say that they're going to get together again to talk about both of the ongoing issues. Now, I'm headed to Kennedy Space Center tomorrow for the next briefing they're going to hold at noon. So I'll let you know as soon as I hear if NASA will go ahead with the launch attempt early Wednesday morning at 1.04 in the morning. But as you heard... That's still their plan. Of course, we will have complete pre-launch coverage on our website, clickrelando.com slash space, and on News 6 tomorrow and Tuesday leading up to the launch. Also, I write a, a weekly space newsletter with in-depth analysis of the Artemis moon rocket and all things space. You can sign up for that on our website.